Hello everyone, my name is CMA Pankhiwani. Welcome back to CMA Modules. In this video lecture, we will be studying throughput accounting. That is module number 4.3. Now, what is throughput accounting all about? Throughput accounting is nothing but variable cost accounting. Here we consider, here we go for variable cost accounting. So, what is variable cost? Variable cost is a cost which varies according to the product. Number of products. Say I have 10 products, I'll have variable cost related to 10 products. Say I have 20 products, variable cost related to 20 products. So variable cost change with number of units. Okay. Now here throughput accounting is a system, uh, is a technique of JIT system, just in time. JIT is just in time. Just in time is a system which uses different techniques to calculate its profit, its margin. Throughput accounting is one of the technique. Under throughput accounting, we consider only variable cost. We don't consider fixed cost. What is fixed cost? Fixed cost, for example, rent. I teach five students in my classroom and I pay 50,000 rent. I teach 10 students in my classroom. My rent will remain same, 50,000. My rent will not change whether I teach 5 students or 10 students. So that's fixed cost. So here we'll not consider fixed cost. We'll consider only variable cost. There is one more clause. Only direct material and labor is considered as variable cost here. Anything else other than Direct material cost will not be considered as my variable cost. So selling price per unit, okay, selling price per unit minus direct material will give me my contribution. So if you remember, we have a universal statement that is sales less variable cost that will give me contribution. Less fixed cost that will give me profit. So this is the universal statement. This statement help, will help us to solve our numerical problems. So they have given us selling price and cost details. There are 320,000 bottleneck hours available each month. Calculate optimum product mix based on throughput concept. So we have to calculate optimum product mix. Now what is product mix? Product mix is nothing. Product mix means more than one product, more than one product is getting manufactured or produ produced or traded together. So more than one, suppose Cadbury, Bonvita and uh, 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 any biscuits. So three products, so that's product mix. Okay, uh, dairy milk, sorry, Cadbury company is giving dairy milk, Bonvita and any one more biscuits or chocolate powder. So that three to four products are product mix of that company. So here I'm supposed to find out which is the best optimum product mix. Okay, which product I should go for? I should go for B first, then C, then A, or I should go for A, then C, then B. That way I'm supposed to answer them, which product to take first, which product not to go for. Okay. So for that, what I'll be doing is I'll be following three to four steps and I'll answer them accordingly. So first I'll find out a rate per factory R. Why here they have taken their uh, uh, base based on factory R. So I'll find out a value per factory R. So suppose I'm taking five hours to prepare product A. So what will be the value? Accordingly, I have to calculate. So what I'll do is what I'll do here is I'll prepare my uh, columns, particulars, A, B, and C. Then I have selling price. Selling price per unit. I'll take from the question. Then I have less. direct material so direct material is 60 70 and 85 then i have 
throughput profit margin so if i subtract this two i'll get throughput profit margin that is nothing but contribution that is nothing but contribution then i have time required on bottleneck resources so time required is 5 4 and 3 given to me in the question so what i'll do is i'll find out a return per factory hour so my return is ready now i have a ranking ranking is higher the return better it is okay so done with return per factory r and i gave a rank so my first step was to find out return per factory hour suppose here i have machine hour then i'll go for machine hour return per machine hour if i have labor company is factory is working based on labor uh, men then per labor how much profit i'm getting that i'll calculate now next step is allocation uh, what i'll do is i'll allocate so allocations of hours they have given me total hours right according to the rank so i have 3 lakh 20000 as total hours so my first rank is product c okay for according to the rank first product is product c then i have product a then i have product b okay product c is 40000 40000 into 3 hours so 120000 required then i have 30000 product a 30000 units into 5 hours so 150 hours are required so till here how many hours completed 2 lakh 70 now what is the balance hours 3 lakh 20000 is the total hours minus 2 lakh 70000 so 50000 hours are left for 50000 hours under 50000 hours how many units i can do so 50000 divided by product b requires 3 3 uh, sorry uh a uh, 4 hours right product a requires 4 hours so divided by 4 12500 units so these are my hours these are my units so here for product c entire 40000 units for product a entire 30000 units for product uh b 12500 units okay so this part is done now next one is so this is my step 2 now next sum is okay only this much i have to answer that what is the calculate optimum product mix based on throughput accounting so this is my answer product name i'll write it down okay let me take one more sum sum 14 so under sum number 14 cat company makes a product using three machines x y and z 
the product has to pass through all the three machines. The capacity of each machine is as follows. So I have machine capacity per week, 800, 600, 500. The demand for the product is 1000 units per week. For every additional unit sold per week, profit increases by rupees 50,000. Cat companies considering following possible purchases First one is replace machine X with a newer model, invest in second machine Y and upgrade machine Z. So what company wants to do? Company wants to purchase a new machine and replace machine X, Y and Z. So in which order company can replace it, can do it that we are supposed to answer that. So I'll just prepare a table particulars for uh, X y and z and i have a total so my total demand is my total demand is 1000 here they have mentioned demand for the product is 1000 units so if I check my total demand is 1000 units. Now what I'm supposed to do, if you check machine capacity per week, okay, then you have current week, current capacity per week. So current capacity is 800, 600 and 500. Now what is the bottleneck here? 500 is my bottleneck. So what I'll do is I'll replace machine Z first. Okay, I'll, I'll replace machine Z first. So if I replace machine Z, proposal Z, upgrade machine Z at a cost of 75 lakhs, thereby increasing capacity to 1050. So here the capacity is 1050,000 and uh, 600 and 800 now if i look into it my bottleneck is 600 so what i'll do i will replace machine y so if i replace machine y 600 so uh, here if i check for machine y invest in second machine by increasing capacity by 550 so whatever units they have given 600 to that they have used word by and an above statement they have used word two so that is the difference between the two since it was two so that's why i wrote down as it is figure since it is by so by 550 i have added 800 will be as it is 1050 and 1000 units now if i go through it okay i'll have bottleneck as 800 okay 800 is my bottleneck replace machine x so if i replace machine x i have 800 so if i check that so i have 1100 then here i have okay 1000 now here what i want to i have to do is now 1000 is my bottleneck so one by one i replaced all the machines and the order of replacement order of replacement of my machine will be z comma y comma x okay i hope you are comfortable with these two sums next two sums i'll record in another video lecture thank you